Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see part 2 of permutations. In the previous video, we have seen part 1. So if you haven't watched that, there is a link in the description box below. You can check that out. So now let's see this problem. Here it says, how many words with or without meaning can be formed using all the letters of the word equation using each letter exactly once. So what they are asking? They are asking how many words you can make with or without meaning out of the letters of the word equation where each letter should not be repeated. That means there is no repetition. Each letter exactly once. There is no repetition, right? So if you see the word equation here, each object is different, right? E, Q, U, A, T, I, O, N. All the letters are different. And they are saying there should not be any repetition while forming the words. So we know when this is the case, we know NPR is given by N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. If repetition was allowed, then we know NPR is given by N power R. This we have seen, right? And if in case the given word is not a distinct object, say for example institute, we have I repeating there, right? In that case, we know NPR is given by N factorial divided by P1 factorial, P2 factorial and so on up to PK factorial. This also we have seen. If you haven't seen this, just watch the previous video where I have explained all about this. So now let's see this problem. Let me erase this. So here in this question says, we have to find how many words with or without meaning can be formed using all the letters of the word equation. So how many letters are there in a word equation? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So out of 8 letters, we have to choose all the 8, or 8 of them. So 8P8, right? Which is equal to N here is 8. So 8 factorial divided by 8 minus 8 factorial which is nothing but 8 factorial by 8 minus 8 is 0 so 0 factorial is 1 we know 0 factorial is 1 so 8 factorial is 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 3 into 2 into 1 by 1 so this will give you 40320 so you can make these many that is 40320 words out of the word equation. Let's move on to the next question. So now let's see this problem. Here it says how many words with or without meaning can be made from the letters of the word Monday assuming that no letter is repeated. If four letters are used at a time, all letters are used at a time, all letters are used but the first letter is a vowel. So first let's see the first one. So what they are asking? We have to find how many number of words with or without meaning can be made from the letter of the word Monday. Assuming that there is no repetition. We know for no repetition NPR is given by NPR is equal to N factorial by N minus R factorial. So how many letters are there in Monday? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 letters are there in Monday which is a distinct object, right? All the letters are different. So how many they have told? 4 letters are used at a time. So 6P4. We are taking only 4 letters. So that will give you total number of four letter words with or without meaning using the letter of the word, using the letters of the word Monday, right? So we can write number of four letter words with or without meaning which you can make from the word Monday is 6P4, right? So this is nothing but 6 factorial by 6 minus 4 factorial. So 6 into, here if I see denominator, 6 minus 4 is 2, so 2 factorial. So 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 factorial, right? So I can cut this. So, 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 will give you 360. This means 364 letter words.
words you can make out of the letters of the word Monday. Now let's move on to the second question. But before that, let me erase this. Now let's see the second question here. It says all the letters are used at a time. So we have to find how many words with or without meaning you can make from the letters of the word Monday by taking all the letters at a time. So we have six letters in Monday, right? So that will be six P six taking all. So you can write total number of words with or without meaning that you can make from the letters of the word Monday taking you can write in your own words taking all letters at a time. which is given by 6P6, right? We have 6 letters, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 6 factorial, which is nothing but 6 factorial, 6 into 5, into 4, into 3, into 2, into 1. In the denominator, we have 6 minus 6 is 0, so 0 factorial is 1. So, this will give you 720. So we can say we can make 720 words out of the letter out of the, the letters of the word Monday taking all the letters at a time where there is no repetition, right? Now let's see the third one. So now let's see the last question. Here it says how many words with or without meaning you can make from the letters of the word Monday where all letters are used but the first letter is a vowel. Now, what are walls? We know A, E, I, O, U. These are walls. So, in Monday, how many walls are there? We have O and we have A. So, we have two walls, right? So, now we have to see how many words you can make where those words whose, I mean, those words should start with the wall, right? So, we have two cases. So, some words may contain O, this is also vowel, so it can start with O or some words with A. So, let us say, they have said taking all the letters, so 6 letters, correct? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, let us fix this O here. Now, we have to rearrange other letters. So, how many possible ways you can arrange them? To make different words. Here also their repetition is not allowed, right? So we know N, P, R. So how many letters? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5, P, taking all the letters. So 5, P, 5. Similarly, we have, now let us see, when A is, the words with A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here also same case. So, N, P, R is nothing but, here A is fixed. So, we are left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 letters arranging among themselves. So, taking all the letters. So, 5, P, R, 5. So, when we add these two, that will give you total number of words where it starts with the vowel O and A. So, let me explain again. So, they are asking, how many set of words you can make where the words should start with the vowel, right? In this case, we have two vowels. So, first let's see how many words you can start, uh, make, how many words you can make with O, starts with O, right? So, O is fixed. How many letters? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can rearrange them, right? In how many ways? 5P, 5 ways. Similarly, let us see how many words that will start with letter A. So, their sum will give you total number of words that will start with the letters O and A. That means, it starts with vowels. I hope this is clear. So, total number of words that you can make out of the word, out of the letters of the word Monday Where first letter is 
is a wall. Okay, you can write in your own words. So we have 5p5 plus 5p5. So what is 5p5? So 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 5 factorial plus 5 factorial by 5 minus 5 factorial. So here 5 factorial is 120 by 5 minus 5 is 0, so 0 factorial is 1. So 120 plus here also 120, correct? 5 factorial, 5 minus 5 is 0, 0 factorial is 1, which is equal to 120 plus 120 is 240. So that means 240 set of words you can make where the words will have the vowels at say starting letters. I hope this is clear. Now let's move on to the next question. So now let's see this problem. Here it says find n if n minus 1 p3 is to n p4 is equal to 1 is to 9. So how you can write this? n minus 1 p3 by n p4 is equal to 1 by 9. Right? So here n is n minus 1. So we know n minus 1 factorial n p r. So n minus 1 factorial divide by n minus r. So n is n minus 1 minus r factorial divide by this divide by n p 4. What is n p 4? n factorial by n minus 4 factorial which is equal to 1 by 9. So this will be n minus 1 factorial divide by n minus 1 minus 3. So that will be n minus 4 factorial. I will bring this to the numerator that will be n minus 4 factorial. We will write the reciprocal right by n factorial which is equal to 1 by 9. So here n minus 4 and n minus 4 is gone. We are left with let me continue here n minus 1 factorial by n factorial. So we have n minus 1 factorial by n factorial. What is n factorial? We know n factorial is nothing but n into n minus 1 factorial. Correct? Which is equal to 1 by 9. So if you are wondering how did I write this? Let me give an example. If you if, let's say we have 5 factorial. So we have 5 into 4 factorial, right? This is n. We did what did we do? n minus 1 factorial, correct? So that is what I wrote here. This is just an example. So I can cut this. We are left with 1 by n is equal to 1 by 9. So this implies n is equal to 9, right? Now let's see one last problem. But before that, pause the video and note this down. So now let's see this last problem. Here it says, find r if 5pr is equal to 2 into 6pr minus 1. So we have to find r. So we have 5pr is equal to 2 into 6pr minus 1. So what is 5pr? 5 factorial divided by 5 minus r factorial. Which is equal to 2 into 6pr minus 1. So we have 6 factorial divided by 6 minus r here is r minus 1. Right? So this factorial. So 5 factorial divided by 5 minus r factorial is equal to 2 into 6 factorial. I can write 6 factorial as 6 into 5 factorial. So I can cut this 5 factorial with this by 6 minus r minus 1. So this will be 6 plus 1, correct? So 6 plus 1 is 7 minus r factorial. So 6 minus r minus of minus is plus 1. So 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 minus r factorial. So this implies here 5 factorial and 5 factorial is gone. We are left with 1 by 5 minus r factorial is equal to 2 into 6 by 7 minus r factorial. As I said, n factorial is nothing but n into n minus 1 factorial. Right? We can write like this. Similarly, I can write this 7 minus r factorial as 7 minus r factorial as 7 minus 
R into seven minus R minus one. Next time I can write seven minus R minus two factorial. Correct. Each time I'm minusing one. Let's say I have seven factorial. How you will write seven into six into five into four? You can write four factorial, right? Each time we are minusing one. Same thing I did here. You can stop whenever you want, right? So why did I stop here? Seven minus two is five. Five five minus r factorial. So I can cut five minus r factorial here. I hope this is clear. See here, seven minus r factorial will be seven minus r into seven minus r minus one. So seven minus one is six. So six minus r. 7 minus r minus 2. So, 7 minus 2 is 5. So, 5 minus r factorial, right? It goes on till it reaches 1, right? Like this. So, I now I can cut this and this. So, this implies 1 is equal to 2 into 6 by 7 minus r, 6 minus r. So, this implies when I bring this to this side, so this will be 7 minus r into 6 minus r which is equal to 6 to the 12. So, let me continue here. So, I will erase this. So, now let us multiply here to form a quadratic equation, right? So, 6 7 is the 42 minus 7 r minus 6 r minus of minus is plus r square. I multiplied this which is equal to 12. So, let us rearrange. So, we have r square minus 7 and minus 6 will give you minus 13 r plus 42. I will bring this to the other side. So, minus 12 equal to 0. So, we have r square minus 13 r plus 42 and minus 12 will give you plus 30 which is equal to 0. So, we have a quadratic equation. So, you know how to solve this, right? R square minus 10 R minus 3 R plus 30 equal to 0. So, minus 13 R, correct? So, let us group them. So, R into R minus 10. So, minus, we have 3 common. So, R minus 10 equal to 0. So, r minus 3 equal to 0, r minus 10 equal to 0, which implies r is equal to 3 and we here we have r is equal to 10. So, now we got two values for r. If you see the question, we have 5 p r. So, 5 objects taking r at a time. So, r cannot be more than 5, right? It can maximum, it can be up till 5, but not more than 5. So, 10 is more than 5. So, we can say r is equal to 3 is the value of r. Okay, this is not possible. So, you can write in your own words. Alright. So, this is it in this video. See you soon. Till then, take care. Almighty bless.